taxpayer shouldn't have to get on the phone, call their city council or call the, uh, the parks department to say you haven't done your job. It's very obvious looking here that the job hasn't been done properly. The city of Toronto is claiming responsibility for failing to maintain a Scarborough Park after a resident says the city told him it wasn't responsible for the space. Well, it turns out it is Toronto's property and that confusion, according to the area's councillor, may have been caused by a bad deal the city made with condo developers 30 years ago. Look at this grass. That's how they are cleaning it and they don't put even any plants in there, right? So it looks so ugly. From dog feces to garbage and flower beds overrun with weeds, these are just some of the things Karu J. Kumar says he sees daily at Hillsborough Park. One gentleman has three old daughter and he said, Jay, I can't go here because glass pieces are there. For the last five years, he says he's been complaining to the city about the condition of the park situated near McCowan and the 401 and surrounded by several tall towers. He says the city told him it doesn't own that property. I go there and they're not giving me any straight answer. It doesn't look like a park. It looks like it's part of the condo. The area's councillor says the city is at fault. Staff did make the mistake once in the past. And after realizing the park did indeed belong to the city, maintaining the property was still a challenge. Because it is so underutilized, it's so out of the way, it's so isolated, it so looks like it belongs to somebody else, the park staff come here and go, eh, Nobody's here, nobody cares. A parked force ran recreation spokesperson tells City News the issue wasn't over the ownership of the park, but management and operations responsibilities the city shares with the condo. Part of the email statement reads, sometimes figuring out exactly who is responsible for what can be hard, particularly when the agreement is long-standing and predates current staff at the city and the partner, in this case, the condo. I look at this and I say, this does not belong to the city. It should not be a city park. It should belong to the condo corp. It's on their garage, actually. Councillor DeBearmaker says this responsibility fell into the city's lap after it made a bad deal three decades ago. While the condo developer built the park back in the 80s, the city got stuck with maintenance costs. The Toronto taxpayer pays for all of the trees, all of the flowers, all of the maintenance, everything. The condo people pay nothing. Would never happen under my watch. City staff will be cleaning up at the park tomorrow, but the councillor is also looking for alternative solutions on how the property can be maintained in the long run. This is not an acceptable standard, so I understand why the residents don't like it, and the residents really don't care what happened in the 1980s.